made duck men one and we might have sold I would say less than a hundred you gotta remember I was the first one to make waterfowl videos that I know of I never had seen them on any in any store that's the reason I wanted to do it I'd go to them shows we'd have it playing most people would not even stop and look they just walked on by Who's that old cat with the whiskers? I don't know. I've never seen him before. I drive up to places out in the parking lot, walk in there and they ask him if they want to stock them. They said, hey, hit the road. They'd run me out of there. Finally, one old boy said, well, I guess we could pay you out of the store here. He said, you got an order for him? I said, no. He said, well, how, how, we, how are we going to keep a record of this? I said, well, you got something you can write it down on? I'll come back by here. If you sell them, you pay me for them. Well, wasn't long. I need all a few more. Well, I went on down the road, and I told him, I said, listen, that store down there really setting them video down the road there 30 miles. They said, well, give us what he got. Okay. I took those orders, went to the next one. Well, the more orders I had in my hand, I'd show them to them. I said, these are what all these people are ordering. So it just sort of kind of mushroomed from there. Well, one day I got a call, some fella said, he said, I'm trying to figure out how you got your products in our stores without going through me. I said, well, who are you? He said, I'm the buyer. I said, sir, I got them in there one at a time, one store at a time. He said, you know, you're doing pretty good. I said, I think I am. Business started picking up. And along in there is when the first little kid came up and said, Mr. Robinson, can I have your autograph? I said, autograph? I said, well, I've never signed an autograph for anybody. You got a pencil or something? He said, yes, sir, I'll go get one. So about a 10-year-old kid asked me for my autograph. Somewhere along in there, three, duck men three or duck men four. And after he did that, from that moment on, everybody that saw me wanted my autograph. It started all at once, and it certainly wasn't planned. I don't know. I never figured it all out. I have no idea how all that worked. But I'm the same cat now as I was back there on Duck Man 1. I haven't changed a bit. Fear God, shoot ducks. Love your neighbor. In that order. That's all it is. That's all the match all the mouse do down in here. When Phil made his first duck call back in 1972, he was just getting started. Along the way, the Duck Commander brand expanded, and a team of pioneers charted Phil's vision into new territory. This is where the new generation meets the old. This is the story of the torchbearers, the personalities, the family. This is for anyone who lives the Commander life. something to us. There's two of them that are gumbo ducks. I ain't claiming but one of them, but somebody shot the other one to the right of that one. Holy cow. We scratching out a few. All these coffee beans, transplanted coffee beans, transplanted cane, in about a 30-foot circle. It's all coming together. The plan's coming together now. Everybody happy, happy, happy. Should we 
shot them on the first day? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> oh yeah. Just had a group come in, didn't even didn't even pause, so thinking the flapper may at least make them swing around and look at it. Deacon replacement is crucial. about 12 in the decoy. Hey, let's shoot the 12, boy. The 40 may not. I don't really care about that as long as you say it. You can't just get up and start shooting. Yeah, in the bushes ain't no good. You gotta have them in the hand. Right there, right there, right there. Right there. Statue of Liberty play. I hope that's waterproof. <laughs> oh. Get light headed, you just got it for about three days, and then this starts to happen. You just, it just overwhelms you. Just get light headed, you just say, "That's a boat." That is. He's down. See, Al, you know I did that on purpose to break that tension aside, blowing it up all over everybody around here. You know, There's a lot of tension, Martin. You just, you just broke. Everybody's happy now. Everybody's happy. Most people don't realize that there was no amount of wire or brush that could have held it. But no. Once the 75 gets all balanced, you just, I heard stuff breaking. It's a wire. That's when the waiters went. It was like a duck seizure. There was wire I mean, that, and, Martin and, just... and, and cane breaking. Commander Life, presented by Realtree. Family, friends, and the outdoors. Victor Super Premium Dog Food. Heavy Shot, I didn't come this far to miss. Yeti, built for the wild. Kicks, get on target. Benelli, dominate the skies. Mojo, if it ain't magic, it ain't mojo. Higdon Decoys, 